What is up everyone? This is Sporty Spence 17 bringing you an awesome video about the Utah Jazz versus their game against the Boston Celtics. I'd like to thank everyone who's been watching. It's been a lot. I haven't expected as many views as I've been gotten in subscribers, so thank you so much. If you haven't subscribed, maybe consider subscribing. But again, thank you. All right, let's get down to business. The Jazz beat the Boston Celtics, the runner-ups from last year. We beat them in our in our home, Vivint Arena, and I was there. It was really awesome. Here's a clip from what happened. <laughs> Anyway, I got this awesome cup. I really like it. Baji, Taylor Horton Tucker, Walker Kessler, and Lowry Markinen. That's all I have to say, pretty much. 528 remaining in the fourth quarter. The Jazz were down 108 to 101. As we watch, Chris Dunn goes for a layup, misses. Walker Kessler gets the offensive rebound. Lowry Markinen hits a three. Bang. Got it. This is huge. Walker Kessler had eight offensive rebounds in this game. He had more offensive rebounds than defensive rebounds. That's insane, honestly. We just have a stud in Walker Kessler. And then, of course, Lowry Markkinen is just amazing. One of the greatest jazz players already. I was there at the game. The atmosphere was awesome. About 30% were Celtics fans, and they started cheering on, let's go Celtics. The first time they did that, we were, they were up by 19. And then I think the Jazz went on like a 15 to three run. It got within one point before the end of the first half. It was, it was just so awesome. But one thing I want to point out is when they were down by 19, Markkinen was still fighting so hard. Some of the rest of the team were kind of, kind of seemed defeated, but Markkinen was still trying so hard. I believe he had 12 points in the first half, and then he finished the game with 28 points. So, just again, Larry Markkinen. Freaking stud. Second half was really huge for Kessler too. He didn't do too much in the in the first half. The second half he came in really big. I don't know how many offensive rebounds he had in, just in the second half, but he did help out a lot, especially on this game winning play. Right here. Inbounding. They find Williams. Blocked! I don't know what the Celtics were thinking. I think it might have just been some poor choices on coaching as well as they missed some shots down, poor decision making. They didn't give the ball to Jalen Brown or Jason Tatum. Now speaking, Jason Tatum only had 15 points, but Jalen Brown had 25 points. He was going places. He was hitting threes. He was creating plays. They decided to go with Grant Williams, I believe, driving down the lane on Walker Kessler. But Lowry got the game winning rebound. Taylor Horton Tucker was really big as well. He had some key plays. It was 116 to 117. THT drives inside, hangs it up, and scores it! Jason Tatum missed the three-pointer. Same play for Taylor Horton Tucker. He drove it in, except flipped on the other side, and he lost the ball. That's okay, though, with five seconds left, and they decided to do the Grant William drive-in. Larry Markkinen, it was 117 to 113, one minute, 19 seconds left. Taylor Horton Tucker has the ball, kind of plays some ISO, setting up a play, passes it to Lowry, hits the dagger three, down by one. This game was just, it was wild. We were down Clarkson, we were down Colin Sexton. This team just keeps fighting. I really, really am so proud of this team. Really proud, I love it so much. I love the fight. They're giving more fight than the team did last year, in my opinion. Last year, we just forget about. Now let's remember the black and yellow and purple Utah Jazz of the 2022 season. With Larry Markkinen leading the way, it's just so excited for the future. I'm just so glad that Jazz fans showed up amidst about 30% of the arena was full of Boston Celtics fans, and we whooped on them after the game. It was so funny. They deserved it too. I mean, anyone that comes into an arena and starts cheering on the away team, I feel like it's just a curse at this point. When they first started saying, let's go Celtics, I knew in my heart that they were going to lose and it was gonna bite them in the butt. And it did. 
They lost to the Utah Jazz. The Jordan Clarkson, Colin Sexton lost to Utah Jazz. So they deserve it. One last thing again, marketing is really clutch. He, I know he was four for two from three pointer. Three point shot, 520 left. Layup with uh, two minutes and 20 seconds left. And then he hit the dagger with one minute and 10 seconds left in the game. So he, I believe Larry Marketing is clutch. He's missed a few, but he is so efficient. He's very clutch. And I think he'll only get better. And I really want to go to Finland now just because of Larry Markkinen. He's just that awesome. And I know a large majority of the people who watch this video are from Finland. And I'm jealous that you're in Finland because I've seen photos of it and it looks really beautiful. So I'm hoping maybe in the next couple of years, maybe to make my way over there. Me and my friend really enjoyed the game. I just love the, the atmosphere of Vivid Arena. It's unmatched to any other arena that I've ever been to. And I just get so hyped and adrenaline. So anyway, this has been Sporty Spence 17. I hope you have a great day and we'll see you next time.